Okay, this is vacation video number 12. Uh, this is a quite a controversial piece by the Rambam, these next couple of halachos, and uh, they brought him no amount of criticism over the last thousand years or so. We're on, we're on Hilchos Tamat Torah, Parak Gimel, Halacha Tess, and the Rambam says as follows, Kol amisim alibo shiasuk batora velo yasa melacha, vis parnis minet staka, Right, whoever says, you know what, I'm going to do exactly what the Ram says. I want to wear the crown of the of the Torah, and therefore, in order to wear the crown of the Torah, I'm going to really involve myself in learning all the way to the point where I'm not going to work. And so, how does he live? And knows if you're not going to work, you're not going to have anything to eat, right? So he says, he's parnis minet staka. So what I'll do is I'll go around collecting staka. Knows every morning I'll go around to in davening, and I'll uh, I'll go around and I'll collect staka money. And people give me money, and then I'll have enough to buy myself food for the day, and I'll go learn. Right? So the Rambam says that that idea of collecting stucco money so that you can learn, that person desecrates God's name. Now, the desecration of God's name is one of the harshest sins a person can commit. He says, You've the Torah, you've embarrassed the Torah, and you've like dimmed the light of religion in the world. You've brought bad to yourself. And you've taken away your life from Olam Haba. Because a person cannot get benefit from the words of Torah in this world. The Rambam goes on, He says, Whoever gets benefit from the words of Torah, he says, He's, His life is taken from this world. And not only that, but a Chacham commanded and they said, don't make the words of Torah crown to raise yourself and to honor yourself with them. And don't make them a shovel that you dig with. Not only that, but the Chum said, right? Love work. Right? Love work and, and hate being on top of people. And any Torah that doesn't have work along with it, Sofa Batela. In the end, it's going to be worth nothing. Sofa Adam Zeh. And that's what is going to happen, is that he's going to end up tricking the, uh, the people of the world. In other words, he's going, in order to keep his scheme going, where he's learning, he's going to end up fooling the world, and, and, trying, and trying literally to fool the world. And the Ram goes on in Halacha Yudalaf, and he says, It's a great, uh, it's a great quality for a person to be able to, to make a living from his own hands. Right? And it's really, if you look through the Gemara, you'll see that many of our great Amarayim mentioned the Gemara. They all had jobs, right? Besides their great scholarship and besides their great accomplishment in Talmud Zorah, they also all had jobs. And he says, Velo, uh, sorry, excuse me, he says, uh, And that's how they merited to have all the, uh, all the honor and the goodness of this world. And in the next world, Right, the, the pasuk says that a person should work hard, right, working, and then he'll eat. A shrecha will be praiseworthy, and it'll be good for him. A shrecha, what does it mean praiseworthy? Bolam hazeh means that in this world, the tovlach, what does it mean it'll be good for him? The olam haba shikula tov. In the next world, that is all good. Okay. The Rambam goes on in Allah Yudalef, and he says, "Ain't the Torah miskaimet b'mishem rapa atzma olam." My right? Torah doesn't doesn't isn't fulfilled in somebody that heals himself through them. And not somebody that that does well from eating from pleasure from learning amongst pleasure and learning with food and drink. Rather, a person has to literally die over the words of the Torah. And must always be in pain. And he doesn't give sleep to his eyes. Right. In other words, he's always he's always exhausted. He's always working hard at Torah learning. It doesn't come any other way. It doesn't work any other way. And that's the idea of this uh, of this of these couple of halachos in the Rambam. So here's my question for you: The Rambam see, says that just somebody that decides to learn and live off charity, it's never going to work. A person has to be able to work for his living. Why is that a problem to to learn and live off of charity? Let's say somebody wants to support this person so that they'll be able to learn. Why is that such a bad thing? I look forward to hearing your answer. Shalom.